Welcome back to the Navy Coaches Series. Joining me now is a national championship winning coach of Navy's men's lightweight rowing team, Sean Vagnall, entering his ninth season here at Navy. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Winning the national championship last season with the lightweight rowing team, the first national title in more than 20 years for Navy in a lightweight rowing. What did that moment mean to you? You know, it was really special, especially given the, the challenge of the, the COVID year. Braving all of that, succeeding through COVID, and then having the opportunity to go and compete and, and test ourselves um, at the IRA and the national championships was an awesome privilege. This season's been going extremely well. The team's been ranked either number one or number two in the nation most weeks. What's it been like to see the success from last year translate into the boats again this season? Yeah, absolutely. I, th I think that, that is a great question. It, it has been fun. It's been fun to see what, what the team's been able to do without the constraints that we had last year and being able to kind of train full tilt, um, not have to scale things back, but really allow them to go out. Um, obviously, returning the entire team from, from the national championship team last year was, was an important part of that, too. But um, just a special group. Um, you know, I'm blessed with an excellent assistant coach, uh, great leadership from my firsties and my captain this year. So I think, you know, it's one of those years where you just you just love to show up every day to work. A lot of rowers don't row prior to coming to college. What athletic traits do you look for in a member of the lightweight rowing team? Yeah, I think I think we we look for a lot of what, you know, our cross country coaches might look like or, you know, Coach Roberts over in swimming. We're looking for endurance guys, uh, you know, endurance background, but long, lean guys that that have the ability to kind of understand their body in space and, and you know, use their body mass to, to leverage a boat and ultimately people that enjoy the work uh, that goes into our sport. There's a lot of training for very few racing opportunities, so um, so we really like the guys that, that enjoy kind of that day-to-day -day grind of it. You went to school in the Pacific Northwest, originally coached in the Pacific Northwest. What do you love so much about coaching here on the East Coast at the United States Naval Academy? You know what, I, it is a place unlike any other. I think the athletes here are what makes uh, this place such a, uh, an awesome place to coach. Um, motivated, um, certainly, uh, you know, aspiring to do things that are greater than themselves um, and just the opportunity for, for me to be able to work with them on a daily basis, uh, you know, there's no better privilege. I mean, I'm just truly, truly uh, fortunate in that way. So, Well, Coach, thanks so much for joining me today and best of luck the rest of the season. Phil, thanks so much. Appreciate it.